Hey guys and welcome to the Akinons YouTube channel. Well, have you ever counted items or occurrences of items in a list? I'm sure while solving coding problems on your projects, you have always faced this challenge. But did you know that there is a quick trick to perform this calculation rather than do the conventional method? So in this video, we will see an efficient manner of counting items in a list. So let's get started. Well, for most common users, we usually have a list, let's say a list of numbers and we create a simple dictionary and for each num item inside that list, we check if it is not present in the dictionary, we initiate the key to a value of one, else we increment the value of that key present inside the dictionary by one. It's not important to note that this method works, but well, there is a quicker method created by the Python developers and that is using the collections counter class method. So let's see how to do that. So first thing, obviously we need to import the live module. So what I'm going to do is from collections and obviously this is an inbuilt module. So we do not need to install it using pip or something. I'm going to say import counter and after that is done, all I need to do is now I need to make a variable and then I can initiate the class that is counter. And within that, I will wrap the list that I want to count. That is this list, this global list variable and voila, I've done everything. And all I need to do is now simply print the counter. And as you can see, the Python output returns a counter class with the items preferred in the manner that they appear in the sense one has a count of five, four has a count of three and two has a count of two and so forth. So these items, are basically arranged in a descending order of their values. Likewise, if you want to access the count of a single item, let's say I want to access the count of the number four. So all I need to do is put in four inside the pa close parenthesis. And as you can see, I can come to know the count of the number four is three, which can pretty much be seen over here. There are three occurrences of the number four. So that's it from this really quick video where we understood how to make use of an important library that is the collections counter class in Python. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to smash the like button and share it with your friends and subscribe to the Akinon's YouTube channel for more fun and interesting videos. 